Hello. Y'all ever have one of those days where you're just like, it's not happening today. I feel like I'm having one of those days today and I'm trying to power through it and I'm just, it's not happening. You know what I mean? But I got some good news. I've got good news. My new laptop came in and I'm gonna go pick it up. Today's still happening. We're gonna make, today, today will be a day. Not a good day, not a bad day. It'll be a day. Hey everyone, I'm Halise, a digital storyteller and video producer, and on this channel, I document my chaotic good life. Subscribe, follow, social media. <laughs> How did you know? Uh, I just know, girl. How did you just know it's a laptop? How uh, did I know that feel? Spending all them Biden bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. See ya. This is how I do voiceover. So that way it sounds as clear as possible. I put a blanket over myself. So that way the it just creates a more dead sound environment. You don't hear too much bouncing of things off walls and so on and so forth. <sighs> I got a new laptop. This is the old one. This is the one I currently use. It is a 20, this is a 2017 MacBook Pro. Um, this was when they first came out with that bar. I love this laptop. I love every laptop I've ever gotten, but I love this one because this was a parting gift from my boss when I left the video agency and started StumbleWell, my production company, and started doing this full time. She gave me the laptop as a parting gift. She was like, you know what? Take it. And I like, low-key ugly cried because I was scared I'd have to buy another one, you know, take, going off on my own. I thought I'd have to give this one back. And she was like, nah, you deserve. And I was like, ah. Me and this laptop, we've been, we've been displaced together. Whoo, amen. Me and this laptop, we've been displaced together. We've gone to London together twice now. We've gone to Spain together. I've cried on this laptop. <laughs> you know, hundreds of videos, hundreds of videos on this laptop. I get a little sentimental when I get another laptop. I've had, this will be, the one I just got will be my fourth MacBook Pro that I have owned. The first one I got, I bought in 2008. I had saved up money for two years and as a like high school student, I saved up money working over the summers for two years and bought it. Yeah, that thing, and even back then it was a MacBook Pro I think it was a 16 inch and it cost $3,000 back then. <laughs> and so that was like, you know, the most money I'd ever spent in my life ever, you know? That MacBook Pro is how I got into filmmaking and I, that was back when I used Final Cut 7. I think now they're on 10. <laughs> so yeah, I always get a little sentimental when it's time to switch out laptops just because they're just, they're kind of like a necessity. They're kind of like having a car or like needing a car every now and then. Not everybody has a car, but like needing a car from time to time where you're just like, I need a car to go do this thing. For, for me, for someone in my line of work, laptops are that. They're just like the thing that every couple years you have to like drop stupid money on. It's a 16 inch and I tricked it out, man. Every MacBook Pro I've ever bought, I've tricked out to get as high quality as I can for my budget, but look, I'm gonna tell y'all how much I spent on this new MacBook Pro, $6,000. I have to whisper it because it hurts. $6,000. But it was time because the thing I was realizing was this one, I teach classes on Skillshare. I don't know if y'all know that, but I teach classes on Skillshare. Um, that is one of the ways I make a living. 
as a creative person, independent artist, whatever you want to call me, digital storyteller, is I teach classes on Skillshare, and I have two classes up right now. But while I was producing that class, I was trying to record my screen and have Premiere Pro open, and this laptop was just like, no, no ma'am, no, you can't do that. It does not compute. So I, that was like the, the beginnings of dang. I guess it's time, I guess it's time, because I need to record the screen so I can show you all what I'm doing, so I can teach classes, so. Really nice trackpad size too. I like the speakers. Ooh, that was weird. What happened? I'm scared. Save everything over. Transfer things bit. Probably take a while though. And while it does, I'll talk to you about probably whatever the title of this video is about. Because the title, right? Old laptop. New laptop. And Mr. Hobie's for good measure. <sighs> Okay, while that's doing whatever it does over there at the table, hopefully in a few hours, I guess, I'll have a updated new MacBook Pro and we'll be able to make classes that much more easily. Less complications. Anyway, point of this video. I'm thinking about leaving Texas. I've been thinking about leaving, not gonna lie. It's been on my mind a lot. And I know I've made videos in the past talking about leaving, having the inklings of what does it mean. And I think I've even talked about going to California because of what I do, who I am, cameras and such. Um, but now it's starting to feel like, dang, I really probably should do that. I feel like, here's the thing, I feel like, I feel like Texas and I need a break. You know what I'm saying? Um, like we need to take a break in our relationship, you know? I feel, that's what I feel like in my heart of hearts. I feel like we both need to, Texas needs to take a break from me and I need to take a break from Texas so we can both just kind of figure out what we each bring to the relationship <laughs> and then decide if we want to continue the relationship together and like what that means, set new boundaries, if you will, you know? And I've been just thinking about moving to California a lot uh, I don't know where in California. I, I have no desire, <laughs> like zero desire to live in LA. <laughs> um, so I've been thinking about San Diego a lot. Here's the thing, here's the thing that's hard for me. I have never moved. I have never moved just to move. That feels like such a, I'm having a hard time wrapping my mind around just like, that that's something I can do. I've never moved just because, just to try something. I've always moved because I was going to school or got a job or, you know, just something like that. Um, I never just moved just, just to be like, I kind of just want to try living here for a minute, just see how it do, how it be. <laughs> What's what, who all over here, you know what I mean? I've never moved for that. I don't know, it's like, it's a scarcity mindset thing that I think a lot of people who grow up lower income, middle income, lower middle income, <laughs> you kind of just like, are like, wait, that's a thing that you can do? Like you, I've, I know that people move just to move, but it, it's never something that's been in my, that I felt was in my grasp. And it's very much like something I can do now. And I'm starting to kind of think about what does that mean to leave? Um, if I go to California, what am I trying to gain? You know, um, do I, do I just want to go there because I think it's better or will it actually be better? And I'm trying to work through that mentally right now. So my lease is up in June of this year of 2021, but I'm not going to leave. Um, just because I, I, because of work. I have clients here in San Antonio and I want to honor the contracts I have with those clients because they're good clients and I really like them and I love the work I'm doing with them with through StumbleWell. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna stick around for the year to kind of do all that. But I think by this time next year, I 
won't be in Texas. I don't, I don't think I'll be here. And I think what I want to do, I think I want to try to live in a blue state for a little while just to see what that is, like what, what's that like? Um, I've lived in a red state my entire life and I'm just kind of curious to see what's that, what's that about? I'm sure there's gonna be stuff about blue states in general that I'm like, ugh, I kind of don't like this. And so I'm starting to do the preliminary research around that as well, starting to just kind of see, okay, if I move to this state, what, what are things like taxes, you know, as an independent contractor um, with a single member LLC, like what does that look like tax wise? Um, how do I transfer my business over to a different state? You know, my state is a registered, or my, <laughs> my business is a registered business in the state of Texas. You know, what does that look like to go through the motions of transferring it to California potentially? I'm also thinking about cost of living, you know, I live currently in San Antonio, Texas. It's not, it's not nearly as expensive, I would say, as Austin, for example, or I'm sure LA. I mean, the cost of living here is getting higher. It's getting a little ridiculous, low key, high key. I live downtown, that's part of it. I live amongst everything, so that kind of bumps the price up. But, you know, what does it look like? How does that transfer to a San Diego situation, maybe? I don't know, I'm just throwing out. I'm just using San Diego as the thing. I don't know if it'll ever actually be San Diego, but you know, like, what does that look like cost-wise? How do I need to start to think about, okay, you know, I pay myself a certain amount from my company every month. Can I stick to that? Or do I need to figure out how to potentially try to up my income a bit more to, be able to handle a move like that? Or will my potential gains of just being in closer proximity to LA offset that new higher cost of living? These are things I'm thinking about and starting to just kind of work through my mind as I consider leaving Texas. And I say consider because I, I it's so hard as a business owner and as an artist to kind of like know where you're gonna be <laughs> even within like six months. It's just so hard to think long-term because um, you're always kind of just like, oh, an opportunity, and you have to just like jump on it, you know? So I don't know what's gonna happen in six months to a year. I just have no idea. But I know I can start to make the steps or take the steps to say, I think I'm gonna leave, so let me start doing this. And that, those are just like some of the stuff, some of the things I'm just like meditating on as just a practical, here's how to move across the country kind of thing. Those are some of the things I'm thinking about. And then on the personal front, it's like, oh, I can leave just to leave. And I'm just really, let me know if that makes sense to y'all, if that's just like, what? You know what I mean? Like, how you, you, yeah, you can leave, duh. Or are you like, no, yeah, I get it. You just get, you're just so focused on that scarcity mindset that like, you've never thought about leaving before. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah.